Carl. Thank you for joining us today on the show. Um, will you actually talk a little bit about, you know, you were trained as a nurse practitioner, you know, quite a few years ago, and you had many years of experience in nursing before. And from my understanding, I think when nurse practitioners, you know, originally got st started in, in this field um, where they could, you know, have more authority um, over um, patients was, you know, it would be that, you know, you had to have a bachelor's in nursing usually and quite a bit of experience. And that was kind of, you know, in my experience, most of the nurse practitioners I worked with up until recently was probably that way. Um, so can you explain a little bit about your history and, and your education? Things have changed considerably since I graduated in 97 from University of Kentucky. And prior to that, I had had 10 years of nursing school or nursing and in, in intense uh, background with both ICU and med surge. So, you know, you, you count that's about 2000 hours of work each year. So by the time I went back to graduate school, then, you know, it's, it was a great experience. Um, you know, University of Kentucky, I remember I was uh, in emergency room rotation and I was there with six or seven other medical residents and this ER physician was so good at, at making us go in five minutes with a patient, come out and list our differentials. And one of the concerns I have with, you know, folks that are coming out now and I've done some training is they look at me askance when I kind of ask that question, give me the list of differentials. Uh, so I see that that is truly missing in a lot of these schools that uh, that are now pushing out some of these nurse practitioners. So I, I very much support that, wow, there's gotta be a minimum number of years, I would say five years uh, before going back to school, just to get those hours in of seeing all the different experiences. Because I mean, most physicians know we do train a lot of these residents coming out. We teach them how to do things after we've been in the field five to 10 years. Um, so it is concerning, it's actually really concerning to hear some of these nurse practitioners being put out in the field after minimal experience. And it sounds like the training- well, No experience. Is, no some experience. Have, right? Some of them have no experience. I was in psychiatric nurse practitioner program, probably half of the students, they had no psychiatric experience, none. They had nursing experience, but they just, because you know they wanted the money grab of psych. I mean, I saw that happening in the physician assistant world, and and now to hear that it's it's happening in the nurse practitioner realm, it's like that is gravely concerning for the safety of patients. You know, I left the medical system as it is now back in two thousand six because I was getting exhausted with in this urgent emergent care system of seeing thirty five to forty patients. You don't have time to think about differentials when you're seeing that many, and I was a Appalled when I realized, I think when I looked at the productivity, I was probably making 700, 800,000 for this big system and, and, you know, just making a fraction of that. And so for me, yep. it was so refreshing to step away. I, I never ever imagined myself being autonomous or starting my own practice, but the only way that I could see myself doing it was stepping out of the sickness model, um, where now at least I get to spend. 50, 60 minutes with my patients, I get to go through all those lists of things to think about and and then still have available consultations readily available. Um, but it's a, it's a problem, I would say, system-wide with what we've developed throughout the nation too. That's created this, I mean, I, I think about my physician friends that I've tried to say, there really is life outside of that big system but they're fearful of stepping out and kind of going back into practice for themselves because in so many ways, the administrative systems have just kind of coddled them and said, oh, we'll take care of everything for you. And that's creating problems. 